In today's tutorial, I'm going to tell you what to do when you go on Zoom, Photo Booth, or any video application, and it tells you that there's no connected camera. Now, there's a slower way to fix this, which is turning your Mac off and back on again, but the approach I'll talk about today is faster, and you'll see exactly how it works. And the way to do that is to go under the hood of the Mac and do a command in Terminal. Now, Terminal looks like this. You'll see the icon on your Mac, and it's very easy to find. If you go to your Applications folder and you go into your Utilities, It'll be right there waiting for you to click on it. You can also find it if you go up to Spotlight and just type up Terminal, and there it is. So let's go ahead and open up Terminal. Now, if you've never been on Terminal before, it might look a little bit scary, but as we'll see, there's nothing to fear. It's just a way for us to talk to the Mac at a deeper level. And the command that we're going to do, I'm going to type out first, and then I'm going to explain a little bit about what it does. The command is as follows, sudo kill all vtc assistant. Now, there are three components to this. The first one is sudo, and sudo basically tells the Mac that you are running this as an administrator, just like your Mac will ask you for a password before doing something serious, but it's necessary in order to run this command. Next is kill all. Kill all will kill the process that follows it, and that process that we put up here is VDC Assistant. Now, VDC Assistant handles the iSight webcam on your Mac, and by running sudo kill all VDC Assistant, we are saying, kill the eyesight webcam process as administrator, which is the only way it'll let you do it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. It's gonna ask me for my password as expected. And now I have successfully killed the VDC assistant. Now the Mac doesn't like that, and so it will automatically restart the VDC assistant. And when that happens, it will be the same as if you had turned your Mac off and back on, in that it will reinitialize your webcam. If we go over to photo booth now, we can see that it works. And so congratulations, you are now ready to get back to your Zoom calls and photo booth.